Hi, boys and girls. I wanted to show you how you could tell time on a clock. So I had a clock on here, and you can actually go to this website, or you, I just Googled clock manipulative to get a clock to play with online. So if you go, um, you see as I move the hour hand, if I move it kind of slow, then the clock spins around. I'm sure there's ways to get rid of some of these other things, but um, just try to, to focus right now on the green and the orange handles or hands on the clock. So what kind of hand was the orange hand? Which hand was that? Did you say our hand? You were correct. Good job. And what hand was the green hand? That's the minute hand. So our hour hand is always shorter. Even though an hour is longer, the hour hand is shorter. Okay? So then the minute hand is longer. So if I move it, it it's a little bit hard to move care super carefully, but right about there, right? It should be right at five o'clock. Okay, just about right at five o'clock. You can see it's a tiny bit off. So I, there we go, five o'clock. And then that other hand is the second hand. And you don't really need to worry about that too much right now. So if I'm going to try to tell time, we went around and we would go, um, I'm going to move the minute hand. This would be at the five, 10. So you have to count, right? 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, and then we go back to the hour. Okay, so now it's 6 o'clock. Um, if it's a.m., like it says over here on the clock, a.m. is always in the morning. Then p.m. is going to be in the afternoon. Good job. So a.m. and p.m. So at school, we eat lunch in the afternoon, so that would be p.m. When you get up in the morning, it would be a.m. You eat your breakfast, a.m., okay? So it, it flips at noon to go to p.m., and then it flips at midnight to go to a.m. So let's try, let me put some, um, let me practice a little bit with you. So we're gonna count by fives, ready? Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, and then we're at the hour, okay? And you saw that as I was moving the minute hand, the hour hand was also moving, but it takes the hour hand longer to go all the way around the clock because it only moves this small distance in one hour. Look at how fast that minute hand moves compared to the hour hand. That's pretty cool, right? Okay, so if I put the clock time in between in between the 5 and the 10, then I have to count these little dots in between. So sometimes when you ask me what time is it, I might be estimating because I might not be counting the dots super carefully. I might be estimating, oh, it's actually 12. Well, this tells me on um, digital time over here, it tells me right away it's 12.08. But if I'm just looking at this clock and it's up on the wall, I might estimate and I might say, oh, it's about, it's about 10 after 12. I might say, well, this is where we're at. It's quarter after, right? It's 12.15. If it's like right here, I might say, oh, it's about 12.15. Remember we talked about this would be a quarter and this would be a half. This would be three quarters or 15, 30, and 45 right? 15, 30, and 45. You're skip counting by 15, and then you get back up here, and you're at 60. We don't say 60, but it's 60 minutes in an hour. So um, this might be a good thing to practice if you have some um, time, maybe some, huh, some time. Maybe somebody could show, put this clock up here. Maybe you could take this off. Oh, if I do that, it all goes away. Okay, so you could take that off. There's also on this site other things to practice. There's like two clocks. Um, oh, the two clocks are to show um, a couple times. <coughs> Excuse me. There's fractions. There's all sorts of things on this website. So if you want to check it out, you can. I've not looked at all of the things. I literally just got that one. All right. Okay, well, I'll post this later so you can practice.